Adam's funeral went like you might imagine. I didn't expect a big turnout, though. Apparently, Adam was more popular than I thought. Even the Clarks came to pay their respects. But I suppose Kate's Crossing has always been a friendly place. Poor Adam probably wouldn't agree. Police said it was a carjacking gone wrong. A closed casket funeral. I don't want to know what they mean by gone wrong. I really feel for Carol and the kids. With everything they've already been through, I imagine the situation seems impossible. I just want to help, but I really don't know how. Carol told me in passing that they were moving back to Houston. She said Jess wanted to do one more session before they left. I should be hopeful, but I keep thinking about what she wrote in the homework. Do I show Carol the articles and beg her to stay, or let them go and hope for the best? And if they do go, how do I help those poor children trapped under the house? It's just too much, John. Too much. I have a week before her session. I'm going to think it over. Note, I've gone back and forth on this, but after the session, I'm going to share the articles with Carol. If it were me, I'd want to know. Hi Jess, how are you today? I know, but that's okay. It's natural to be sad when we lose someone we care about. Oh my God, Jess. I'm so sorry. You shouldn't be seeing something like this. Is that Shelly in the background? Does she know who that is? Really? Where? Can you ask her again? Shelly disappeared a decade ago. That can't be a coincidence. Jess, I want you to tell your friends that I want to help them, but I need any information they can give me. Can Shelly or Maya ask the others? Anything might help. Note, she started acknowledging people in every direction. I got the uneasy feeling that this room was filled with children. Once the young girl looked in charge, she placed her finger on her lips to silence whoever was speaking. Finally, she pointed across the room, then started writing.
Thank you, Jess. Everybody. I'll do my best to try and figure this out. John is a friend. We went to school together. We worked together for a few years. He lives in Florida now with his wife and kid. And what Maya has noticed is that I send him tapes of our conversations. I was hoping he could help me with your case, and we were thinking about writing a book about you and your friends. No, not yet anyway. Does this bother you or your friends? Your mom told me that you were going back to Houston. Why not? I'm going to try and talk to your mom, okay? Like before, the following notes are from memory. Jess's last session was two weeks ago. The next day, Carol left with Dean and Jess. They didn't get more than two miles away from the house when Jess had a violent seizure. Jess hasn't been the same since. She no longer communicates. She just sits in the corner, blankly staring at the wall. Talk later, John. 